José Eduardo del Moral Aguirre. A mí no me engañas, yo sé que tienes a otra. Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spring Spanish. Yo soy María Fernanda and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. And in this video, get ready for some drama, secretos, llanto y gritos. Así es, mis amigos. That's right, my friends. We will be learning about telenovelas and how you can improve your Spanish while watching them. I suggest to stay until the end of this video because I'm going to give you my top five picks of Mexican telenovelas that you can watch right after this video and take your Spanish to the next level. So, ¿estás listo? First, we will go back in history very briefly to understand the origin of telenovelas and how they became an icon in Latin America. But first, do you know that we publish five weekly Spanish lessons for free here on our YouTube channel? So if you don't want to miss them, go and click the subscribe button. And if you want to be reminded of what each time we upload a new video, then don't forget to activate the notifications by clicking on the bell button as well. Now, how were telenovelas born? And what does the telenovela concept actually mean? La palabra telenovela proviene de la fusión de dos palabras. The word telenovela comes from the fusion of two words. Televisión, television, and novela, novel. Las telenovelas tienen su origen en Cuba. Telenovelas have their origin in Cuba. And they actually didn't start as telenovelas, but as radionovelas, which is another combined word of radio and novela, radio and novel. They were created to entertain the workers at the cigars factory. And eventually after their success, radionovelas evolved to telenovelas. Many of their creators start moving to Mexico, Estados Unidos, Venezuela, and created their own content there. Specifically in Mexico, they were influenced by el cine, el teatro, y la cultura popular mexicana. Cinema, theater, and the popular Mexican culture, which resulted in the type of Mexican telenovelas that we watch nowadays, and that today are a recognized TV genre from Mexico all over the world. So, if you're a huge fan of telenovelas like Jane the Virgin, Dad just put Darcy's vagina on Instagram. Then you can use this hobby to improve your Spanish while watching them. And if you haven't watched my video about the three tips I give you to learn Spanish through movies and TV shows, then feel free to check that out as well so you can implement those tips while watching telenovelas. Our free Spanish training talks about how to identify chunks. These are the word combinations that the native Spanish speakers use in their daily conversations. So. You can learn it by heart, so you can also sound natural in Spanish conversation, just like our telenovela actors. So right now, I will give you algunos ejemplos, some examples using chunks in telenovela scenes. That way you can learn Spanish while watching your fun Mexican telenovelas. I mean, I know a lot of people actually that have learned Spanish that way. So why not give it a try? And if you're interested in learning more about the chunking method, feel free to check out the description box. There I have left a link that you can sign up for free. And after watching the training, you will have access to a sample of a chunking lesson. Ahora empecemos. Now let's start. No, no, nunca te voy a dejar que seas feliz con ella. Nunca me oyes. Nunca, nunca. Wow, did I mention that the novelas were a bit dramatic? Well, mis amigos, esto solo es el comienzo. This is just the beginning. Did you find any chunks? Okay, let me help you by analyzing them together. Nunca te voy a dejar. I am never going to leave you. ¿Me oyes? Do you hear me? Que seas feliz. Be happy. Now that I have helped you for the first example, I'm going to give you a second example, but this time be ready and pay attention. No quiero escucharte. No. No quiero. No quiero escucharte. What about now? This was very easy, no? So we have two chunks in here. No quiero escucharte. I don't want to listen to you. And no quiero. 
I don't want to. Why am I pointing out these phrases in particular? Well, in a real life conversation, these phrases or chunks as we call them will actually make you sound more natural while speaking Spanish. And if you learn them as a whole by heart, then you don't even have to think about grammar nor the verb conjugation. Just like in the following real life example. Bueno, hola, ¿me oyes? Sí, te escucho perfecto. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Quieres algo del súper? No, no quiero nada, pero gracias. Bye. You see? Telenovela vocabulary doesn't have to be always dramatic. As you can see, even though telenovelas are known for being super dramáticas, super dramatic, they're really useful because you can improve your vocabulary and increase your knowledge of chunks and start using them right away with native Spanish speakers. Well, I'm curious, ¿en tu país ven telenovelas? In your country, do they watch telenovelas? Let me know in the comments below. As I promised at the beginning of this video, finally, here are my top five picks of telenovelas, mexicanas, of course, that you can watch mainly for dos razones, two reasons. One, mejorar tu español, improve your Spanish, and second, to engage con una buena historia, with a good story. Número uno, María Mercedes. Sí, pues los enamorados. Eso siempre regalan flores. Número dos, Marimar, with my favorite character, Pulgoso. Parece que vamos a tener que pecar Pulgoso. Ni que fuera la primera vez. Número tres, María la del barrio. Any of these three telenovelas are a must watch, a star by Thalia, which I think that she used to do really good telenovelas back in the days. All of them have a similar story. We call them actually Las Tres Marias, the Three Marias. They're not related whatsoever, but the story, they're kind of similar. La chica pobre que se enamora del chico rico. The poor girl that falls in love with a rich guy. However, I think that each one of them have their own essence, so I recommend to watch any of these three to start. Número cuatro, La Usurpadora. And this is a little bit about the family secrets I was telling you about at the beginning. La hermana gemela, the twin sister, allows to be manipulated by her sister so she can run away con otro hombre, with another man. No te has dado cuenta. Pareces mi hermana gemela. Número 5, La Madrastra. Uy, pero qué buena historia. What a good story. María found the dead body of her friend and the murder weapon. So she becomes la principal sospechosa, the main suspect, and of course sentenced to prison. Pero, but, 20 años más tarde, María está libre. 20 years later, María is free. And of course, she wants revenge and find the real culprit. Soy yo, María, tu peor pesadilla. Let's be honest, there are a lot of telenovelas to watch and why don't you share your favorite telenovela with us? I mean, I have shared my Mexican favorites, but there are also really good ones from Venezuela, from Colombia, and whichever is the case, just let us know in the comments below so other subscribers can benefit also from your recommendations. Mis amigos, I hope you liked today's lesson and I will see you next time with another fun video to learn Spanish. And if you want to learn more about the Chunky Method, don't forget we have the free Spanish training and the link is inside the description box. So, hasta la próxima. Adios. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share the videos with your friends.